Greetings and a warm welcome back to Anonymous Advice, the channel that never fails to deliver. We are thrilled to have all our regular viewers and would like to extend a special welcome to all the new ones. So, grab yourself a cup of coffee, or a glass of wine, whatever floats your boat, settle down, and let's get this video started. Have you ever imagined that a business like this, a grocery shop could make you more than 90,000 Kenyan shillings in a month? Here is the story of Gad Kibiwat who makes that amount of money from farming and selling vegetables. He is the owner of Good Fortune Greens, a vegetable business that he started about five months ago. The business is located in Nanyuki Town, Laikipia County, and is Gad's primary source of income. Good Fortune Greens deals with the sale of vegetables such as broccoli, spinach, managu, terere, cabbages, sukuma wiki, onions, tomatoes, cauliflower, capsicum, lettuce, and herbs. Prices for the vegetables vary depending on the type of vegetable on sale, with some being sold per kilogram and others per stem. Before starting this business, Gad used to farm and sell most of the vegetables wholesale through brokers. However, he realized that he wasn't making enough money as the middlemen were very exploitative on pricing. In some instances, they earned more than he did from his vegetables. This prompted Gad to consider alternative ways of putting his vegetables in the market. One of the ideas he had was to harvest and transport his produce to wholesale markets in Nairobi. However, after doing a cost versus return analysis, he found out that this would be a risky move. In the end, Gad decided to open a small shop along the road that leads to Baraka Estate in Nanyuki. He chose this location to tap into new and returning customers who lived in the estate. His earnings have risen to Kes 3,000 per day, translating to Kes 90,000 per month. Running this business has not been without challenges. There are seasons when Gad suffers significant post-harvest losses at his shop due to not having a cold room or refrigeration system that can preserve and extend the shelf life of his vegetables when there is a glut in the market. To minimize these losses, Gad has adopted a harvest-on-demand approach. He harvests his vegetables and stocks up his shop based on consumer demand and cash flow. As a Bob Mboga, Gad has come face-to-face -face with the social stigma attached to small-scale businesses. Most men are very reluctant to join in because this type of business is not highly regarded in society. The picture that comes to mind when Gad tells someone that he is a Bob Mboga is that of a man who couldn't find anything better in life to do. However, Gad knows that there is good money in this line of work for those who can put their ego aside. In some months, he has made much more net profit than what some white-collar jobs offer. Previously, he worked as a security officer, and given a choice, he would never close the shop to return to that job. Gad wants to inspire others to start their businesses and create a source of income for themselves. In the next five years, he hopes to open numerous stalls in Nanyuki town and scale up his fresh produce farm to start transporting on a larger scale to bigger markets in Meru and Nairi. Gad's story is a reminder that with hard work, determination, and the right attitude, anyone can start a successful business and achieve financial independence. So how about you put your ego aside and start that business? If you have been looking down upon men or women who sell vegetables then you need to stop. If you have been thinking about starting a vegetable farm and selling the crops but wondering what the profit margin could be then you got your answer. As always do not just dream it, do it. Until next time goodbye and good luck.